everyone, my name is Madeline and today I'll be performing an acid-based titration demo. Disclaimer, this person is a trained scientist who has all the required personal protective equipment necessary. Please do not attempt this at home. For this demonstration, you will need a burette, a burette stand, a funnel, some acid, we'll be using hydrochloric acid, a base, we'll be using sodium hydroxide, and an acid-based indicator. So first I'm going to start by adding some acid to our Erlenmeyer flask. This will be our known amount, so I'm going to put 10 milliliters in using this graduated cylinder. I will add some base to the burette. Then always make sure you take an initial reading of your burette. Mine is at about 31.5 milliliters. Now I'm going to take some bromothymol blue indicator. This will let us know how, when our titration is done. I'll take a couple of drops. And give it a swirl. Until we have a nice yellow color. This will be our starting color. Now we can start the titration. So by turning the burette, you can open it up and allow some base to enter the container with the plastic. You can start doing this pretty quickly because you'll want to get to your end point faster. Soon you'll start to see that flashes of color appear as you swirl the flask. As you can see, it's starting to turn green. It's important to keep swirling your flask at this time. As you can see, some blue starts to form, but as you swirl it, it disappears. This means we're getting closer to our end point, but we're not quite there yet. Now you want to slow down and add drops more slowly. Once you add that final drop, it'll turn completely blue. That's how you know you're done your titration. Then always make sure to measure the end volume of your burette. Titration is a technique commonly used in labs to determine the concentration of unknown chemical substances. Titration is based on stoichiometry, which is a part of chemistry describing the amounts of chemicals needed for a reaction to take place. This is kind of like a recipe, where different amounts of each ingredient are needed to make a dish. For example, in this titration, we measure 10 milliliters of a known amount of hydrochloric acid. We know the amount of acid added, as well as how this reacts with the base. In this case, hydrochloric acid will react with an equal amount of sodium hydroxide base. When we add the base, we keep track of the volume added by checking the initial and final volume on the burette. The reaction will finish when there are equal amounts of acid and base, and we can tell that by the color change on the indicator. When it turns blue, our reaction is complete and we can figure out the concentration of our base. There are many real-world applications to titration. Titration is a useful test used for many different purposes. One really important application is testing water to ensure it is safe to drink. By using a known amount of acid, amounts of base can be monitored in the water. Titration is also used in the dairy industry to test the sourness of milk and yogurt. Yogurt is usually a bit more sour than milk due to more acid being present. Titration can therefore be used to ensure that these have the right flavor. Thank you for watching this acid-based titration. Be sure to check out the rest of the Science Fun Week demonstration.